Can't hear me. Uh, yeah, I'm refreshing my page. Yeah, yeah refreshing. Well, supposedly it says live. Yeah. So. Um, mm, okay, it doesn't say anything. One second. Can 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 you guys hear me now? No. Yeah. Okay. Microphone, microphone, microphone. This option block seventy five dynamic. Okay. Yeah, okay, it says fatal, yeah. Dynamic. Okay, one second. Uh, um, what do I get there? Control panel. <coughs> Power listeners progress. better mm. okay wait microphone <laughs> did it just change I think it's an axon yeah no where is it Trying guys. Um, how are you? You can hear? I'm good now? Wait, wait, wait. How can you hear? I can hear myself. What's going on? Okay, hold a second. Let me refresh the thing. And hello, 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 hello. <clears throat> What's going on? Uh, okay, it works fine. I put it on the high mic level, so I can hear myself. What's going on? What's going on? Uh, yeah, hello guys, uh, hello everybody, oh, I apologize, uh, the internet here is terrible, absolutely terrible, okay, you guys can hear me, okay, that's good, alright, um, I cannot even load my own uh, Twitch page with this internet, that's absolutely horrible. Trying to heal myself and I can heal myself. Yep. Can't hear anything. You guys can hear me? How can you guys hear me? Um sound problem? Um, I don't understand why I can't hear myself. Quiet. What? It's quiet, yeah. Okay. Uh, desktop is, uh, well, the mic. I think mic is the maximum. Green line 
line is moving. The green line is moving for the tag. I'm going to shoot myself. Sounds awful. Yeah, you better believe it. Uh, it, it it's terrible. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, one second. I think I messed, uh, I messed up with the um, sound settings here. That's why I didn't explain that. Yeah, oh yeah, betray this. I've got all this. Let's put it back to what it was. 160 video is a 3000 stream. I'm not sure that's okay. Um, okay. Let me reload the page. That's very good. Uh, thank you, um, user. Hi, woman. What about the track or do you want to match them? Okay, so. And I have a high train with uh, my fish not working again. Okay, how can you guys hear me? The sound is awful, yeah? Uh, yeah, it is. Sound is awful. Um, sound is awful because... Um, because... Let, let, let me see. Um, okay, dynamics sounds are okay. <clears throat> uh, dynamic. Okay, testing. Mm. No, don't need that. Okay. Sound. Sound is. Again, the, the microphone sound is horrible, yeah. What, uh, what about this um, meteor? Wait, is this better? Is this better? Hello, hello, hello. Um, okay. Um, are you underwater? No. Um, not underwater. How can you find the link to the sample? It's in the title, man. It's always in the title. But I cannot hear myself at all. And I turn on the sound. Yeah, we have 55 people trying to help me work this thing out. Yeah. I'm hmm. the control panel. Equipment. Now I want to change system sounds. Um, dynamics. Uh, system sound. Hello. 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 Uh, make sure. Why well, can't see all the. Um, all the sounds. Hmm. Okay. Um, stereo. It's fine. Okay, I don't need dynamics. It's not dynamic, this is the microphone. Mm. Ok, 
here for a second. This is terrible. No sound? Uh, yeah. Uh, maybe you know what's going on? To, I'm, I'm apparently trying to make the SIMO working. Ah, it shows my screen, yeah? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Um, How's the sound? Okay, I cannot hear myself anything, to be honest. Uh, I can't hear anything. Again. It's not dynamic, it's a microphone. This is very strange. Uh, sound is okay. You guys can hear me fine. Okay, can you guys hear the music? Hmm. Well, supposedly the mic is. Uh, that I cannot hear myself, that's fine. <coughs> okay, Rudy, Tillmans. Right, let's get there with the with the Simon, guys. Um, then, uh, let's get on with the Simon then. Okay. Alright, so tell me who is um, is my subscriber. <coughs> and um Colif, okay. Garik892, you did not subscribe. Um, Leon Beast, okay, wait, 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 wait. I saw Leon Beast somewhere. Leon Beast is here. Um, on a board. Okay. Um, Roro, okay. Uh, Jay. Who else? Moskalenka, Lafer, of course. Um, who else? We got the usual suspects. Anybody else? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you need to be Twitch subscriber, Mr. Uh, Nick. Uh, chess person. Chess person. Okay, yeah. If you get kicked out immediately right on the channel because I can't hear anything. Um, all right, Mr. Rampus. Gotcha. Yes, just person, we got you, man. Okay. I think somebody got kicked, yeah? Um, Garrick, you don't have a star next to your name, man. If you subscribe to my channel, in my Twitch channel, you would have a star. So, um,. Until we get that star. Oh, you saw my games in Bundesliga? Okay. Alright, who got kicked out? Uh, let me know, please. Hi, Pierce. Uh, Blunder Dragon, welcome back. Sort of, you know, this, this, this uh, internet here is like so bad. I miss my Turkish internet, actually. Uh, 
I mean, it wasn't it was uh, not as good as my Russian internet, but it was um, clearly good. Kolev, right? Kolev got kicked out, I think. Yeah, I think Kolev got kicked out. Who else got kicked out? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Hisokas, uh, for subscribing to your one for three months. Uh, I, I'm in uh, France now. The sound was better before music got turned on, and I could play without the music then. Alright, hopefully that's better. Okay. I left two seconds and kick out, yes. Um, quiet? What? What? What happened? Yeah, Strasbourg, that's correct. Yeah, it's it's incredibly difficult to to find a place here. Yes, you can join once you subscribe. Blunder Dragon, welcome back. All right, let's see who got kicked out. It's incredible this uh, thing is kicking people out. Yes, uh, of course I remember you guys. Nick Mefa, man. You need to be a subscriber to the channel. Does Prime Gaming count as a sub? Actually, you do have a star, Mr. Small Town Chess, so you can um, you can join the simul. You have a star, which means you're subscribed, or somebody gave you a subscribing gift to my channel. So yes, Hisokas. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. He Hiso Hisokas. Um, what is your name? Ah, I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Small stomp, right? Okay, small stomp. Okay. So we have a lot of action today, guys. I saw that uh, there are uh, Pro League stuff coming, right? And we have... You guys are going to miss uh, on the titled uh, Bullet Tournament. Thank you, subscriber and Tier 1, Mr. Briggs Keith. Yeah, thank you so much. Wairig, thank you. Um, thank you, man. Wow, I like that sign. Ankh, yeah. Sign of life, man. That's awesome. Or maybe it, it was actually something else. Uh, I'm not that, only that good. Yeah. Um, I am in France and Strasbourg right now, gentlemen. We are in the hotel, but this internet here is terrible. Terrible. Leslie, welcome back. Okay. Uh, the Whistler. All right. What is your nickname, man? Um, I have to, I have to add you again. Um, all right. Who got kicked out? Um, Paul, what's up? Are you in the simul man? Shah Ops. Shah Ops. That's interesting thing. No music today, yeah. No music today because uh, this internet is so bad. I cannot even load my own Twitch page. Ivan Colombo. Nice nickname, man. Um, all right. Um, the Whistler, um, I don't see you. All right, let, let me reload this page. All right, who am I missing? Bong Walk. I know Bong Walk was a subscriber, but I, I haven't heard him. You reopen the new accounts. Kurt Cobain. Okay. That's fine. Mr. Mehmet Fatih Uslu 06, dude, you're spamming the channel. I see that you uh, supposedly subscribe, but you don't have a star, man. Ah, you, yeah, okay, so you're the bone walk, yeah. All right, Mr. Whistler. We got you, man. Okay, who else is missing? Gaidek, you also, if you subscribe, you will have a star next to your name. 
I don't know what happened, but it doesn't show it. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Leslie? Yeah, but uh, y you don't need the club membership today to play. I think it doesn't have... Um, uh, yeah, you can just join join the simul. Everybody seems to be joining Gable without membership. Because I don't know the, if with this internet I can run anything because it's just really bad. Um, okay. All right. Anybody got kicked out? Because we're gonna start like uh, in a couple minutes. All right. Because. Uh, um, don't play three thirty plus sixty. Why not? Yeah, it's it, it's fine. It is fine. The green lights. Yeah, it, it's 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 not really me doing. It's it's actually yellow. You know, the light is actually yellow. I'm not sure why this is. Uh, Three plus five. Last time was too long. Mr. Blunder Dragon, maybe it's too long for you, but everybody else uh, likes to take their time thinking about the game. You have to force yourself to use time, you're dead in 25 moves. That's the purpose, because if you're playing with a feed of time control over the board, you need to use the time, right? 960 chess, 960 chess is very nice. I like it. 960 chess is very, very chessy. And it removes uh, all those uh, book advantages. Yeah, like memorizing all those lines. You know, maybe some of you like uh, memorizing lines and putting them on the board, but I personally, personally I don't think that's chess. It's just memorization. Um, chess out. Um, okay, who is missing, guys? Because we are starting, right? Uh, Anish. Anish, you're just in time, man. Um, you got a few minutes left to submit your... Uh, your candidacy for the simul, sir. Mm. It's in the title, right? You know it. Yeah. All right. Because it's uh, I said we started at seven fifteen, but because my 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 internet and OBS everything got so messed up again, it's ridiculous. Um, how the over the board chess feels? It feels very good, except that I was very unlucky to play. Fabian on the very first round. Yeah, I feel that if I had played him closer to the end of the tournament, I'll probably put up more challenge. Although the game wasn't that wasn't so bad. I mean at the end it would be that famous like Carp of Kasparov fan game, right? Uh, if I if I didn't blunder with Bishop D7 at the very end, if I played knight h4, we would play probably for another hundred and fifty moves. Alright, any Shiren. Alright, good. Alright, last calls guys, last calls. Last calls, everybody, anybody? Um, Leslie? I don't see you. All right. All right, guess, I guess that's it then. Um, we are starting then, okay? And three, and two, and one, and off we go. Why am I why I'm playing white? Ah, there you go. Finally, I'm playing black. Okay. But I get a lot more whites than black, yeah? For some reason. That's... That's called random to you. Ooh. Oh, finally. A bunch of blacks. So I tried that uh, we should we should do that um, uh, King's um, King's Indian attack, yeah, theme arena sometime. Digital war support. support. Oh, I see. see. That's, That's nice. nice. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, 
Did I just really play 1983 first move? Okay, that's crazy. It's crazy. Ah, I'm a shot four. Okay, good. Guys, no lines. That's awesome. Mr. Mappa, you need to be a subscriber, sir, if you want to play. Hmm. All these fine gentlemen, they keep that contribution, yeah? Walk. So I saw Nakamura actually play uh, E4 King E2 in the title Tuesday. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy, man. So I'm going on in the chat. Slide on the audio. Sorry about a minute ago. No biggie. Okay, thanks. Yeah, I mean, I apologize. Uh, this, this, this is a mess. My system is a mess. Sorry about that. Okay, let's grab this. Five. Interesting. All right, Anish. Let's see your moves, man. Mm -hmm. CD4. I see. Okay. A4. You know my lines, right? You know my lines. Which country are you right now? I am in France, gentlemen. I am in France. Nice country, by the way. Very nice. It's just that um, I wish I had better internet here. And there are a lot of regulations. My God, so many regulations. So many regulations, not funny. All right, Dillman just tried to surprise me with something, I guess. What did you prepare for me, Mr. Dillman? prepared mm, this is bishop g4 line okay yeah
All right, let's play the old line because knight c6. See, Andromeda likes um, Berlin now. Interesting. So there is a difference there, yeah? Okay, let's see. And there should be a forest the main line. Oh, it just gave me the shit like that. Okay. Bienvenue in France. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Wasn't this the game that uh, Peter Seidler played. What happened that game? Hmm. Actually, nice to six here. I could be wrong. So, if I play d5 here, close the bishop, which I do not. Curious minds would like to know. Alright, somebody just said they abandoned my channel. What is going on? Hmm. Hi, Louis. You gave me a bishop? Yeah, I mean, if you give me bishops like that, uh, I will absolutely take them. I will absolutely positively take them. And that's the reason why you have knight on e7. Not knight on f6, but on e7. Bishop d6 prevents knight e5. Sounds interesting. Alright, so let's leave. Knight 4, bishop e5, right? That's the plan. Okay, let's keep this bishop off first. Then. Where does this knight go? That's the trick. Where do I want this knight to go? Knight in the 4 is nice, but. I play 94, give you the square. Alright, um, yeah, but 9 on f4 is not really that great, yeah? Not really that great. Alright, so let's trade one pair of knights. Hmm. Now she plays c5. Then you take here. Alright, knight c5 is coming, so black is playing like this, yeah. Then he goes for this structure. Okay. Knight c7, no knight c6. How does white play in this particular case? No clue. Um, well, 
now f4, bishop e3 is probably standard, right? Then I don't d7. At least I don't have to develop my bishop to e3 automatically. I think queen g3 also looks pretty interesting. Um, okay, king h1. Standard, yeah. So let's see. Both Rudy and uh, and the other guy, Dilmand, they trying to show me something in the main line, in the old main line of the uh, of the Logan system. I'm all ears, gentlemen. I'm all ears. Right, so what is this position? Um, I don't know. I kind of like sort of this exchange. Uh, but on the other hand, maybe I want to keep, keep my bishop alive, yeah? I've got a nice Spanish bishop. I would really hate to part with him. Really, really hate to part with him. But on the other hand, we get a very solid structure. Black gets double pawns, and the bishop gets no squares. Maybe to e6, d5 later, but uh, how do you do that exactly? It's unclear. Um, but I like my bishop on d5. I really do. Okay. Um, that queen of six is very annoying. Threat one. All right, let's get the bishop back to a2. Mm -hmm. So the question is, can I just play f4, f5 here and shoot for the moon? I don't exactly see the reason why not. Let's go f4. Okay, um, is it useful to watch all 170 videos from Roman's GNG lab? I have no idea. Hello, Mr. Spirit Tactical. I have no idea, guys. Um, Roman usually does a very good job, right? We all know that, so. We do know that the Roman does a great job. Hmm. Really? Just like that? Interesting. Okay, let's see it. Queen one. Oh, just trading? Fine, I'll trade. Um, yeah, I'll trade. I will trade. Mm 
Mm -hmm. So you're saying my knight on f4 sucks, basically, yeah? Uh, we'll see. We'll see if he really sucks or not. Soon enough. I don't want to play knight e5, obviously, yeah? Hmm. That move will defeat the purpose. Such move will defeat the purpose of playing bishop a2. Okay. The next move looks very interesting. Then 95, queen e4, bishop d7, then rook a8, etc, etc, etc. And that will start a firestorm. I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Alright, so we'll just play g3 for now. It's fine. I don't think it was a big deal about uh, that structure is. It's not like black can uh, put his bishop there. ASAP, I mean. Hmm. Well, black just gets normal position here. I would say black is even slightly better, maybe. Yeah, because they just managed to close the bishop on g2. Not just complete the development. Very comfortable development for black, so I'm not complaining. c5. Queen or pawn. Usually they take with the pawn, right? So bishop e7. Queen that allows knight g5 though so I'm not sure if that was such a good idea uh, ok, castle is knight e5 to see back streaming. Thank you so much. Uh, Samus is Mr. Atas Pro. Um, hi, RJ. What? You don't like my haircut? It's, uh, it's, it's an old haircut, actually. I was streaming with this haircut in Turkey. Uh, 94. Okay. Yeah, from H6, yeah. And okay, uh, I see. I see what you're trying to do, sir. Block everything, make a draw. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting proposal, sir. Um. Yeah, ninety seven should be playable. All right. Let's get this tied in. Bishop belongs on c6, e4, this should be much better for white man, yeah, standard 95, f4, etc, just going for that sweet dark square bishop, hmm, So the I see. Okay. Okay. All right, grab.
only I have the light squared visual that tells me that I can probably try to go for F5 at some point. Hmm. On F4 first because I do need to get that um, diagonal. I do need that diagonal. Okay. Five, okay. I'll go for the center. Ninety-seven is coming, yeah, so I shouldn't have probably taken that thing. I should probably not have taken that thing. Alright, ninety-six. Check on 83, that's the plan, right? So that is Black's plan. Hmm. Yeah, it's just playing AB3, I guess. I we should be able to do that. Okay. Sucky move, but I mean, I can take on c6 and play this structure, which should be, yeah, but I might have a six kind of sucks, yeah. yeah I see. Hmm. I don't have an idea. Uh, I have an idea. Can I just play a four maybe here? Looks very interesting. 
g5, h4. Do man, what are you doing, man? Um, the long hair gotta maintain the villain look. Uh, villain look. I mean, um, Mr. Thais Pro, uh, thank you for subscribing, Mr. Ninety Five Horatio. Do man, what are you doing, man? This is uh, this is very strange play. Trying to give me points, yeah. yeah. Don't recognize you, man. Strange. Okay. Um. I mean, the standard plan is knight of one, knight e three, but sometimes you can play other things. Uh, sometimes you can play crazy things here. It's just, yeah. I mean, knight of 183 is uh, perfectly normal. However, I'm thinking about h4, which sometimes is the uh, not a bad move, but not, probably not in this position, yeah. So you, you really want to keep your king in the center in this particular case. All right, so if I take this, what have, what's gonna happen? Grab, 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 h5, now we got the true Berlin, right, g6, yeah, I'm trying to be very sneaky here, okay, I see, just trying to get the knight to e6, and alright, so I'll probably just take this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Knight usually goes to f4. And f3, keep the bishop out. Let me see why I should play e5 so early. So maybe king, ah, queen h4 is coming or something, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe not, who knows. Yeah, okay, let's play uh, e5, f6, mm. not something that I want to put my king on h1, on g1, right, so okay, fine, king. Queen a4. Testy move. Testing. Resolve. Yeah. Testing black resolve. But okay, just play d6. It's fine. Turn the witness. Mm -hmm. Now Black King can just start doing this uh, freedom operation. Mm -hmm. Cool. F6, what is going on? Bishop a6, I understand. I 
understand. Alright, just page four. Go for that. Too hasty, yeah. Should be playing H3 first. Okay. Good. Very good. Okay. Risky. Yes, Mr. Dolans. That's not even a word. Super risky, sir. And somebody just left me off the hook. Thank you very much for that. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm doing this wrong, yeah? I am doing this wrong. Uh -huh, well. I think I'm doing this wrong. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I am doing this all wrong. All right, the king doesn't belong on a6, I agree. I agree. The king belongs to be free. Shit, I missed that. Of course, I play an 84. My god, no f6. Queen 7, yeah, anything. K4 was a um, strange move, I don't understand it myself. I play that. Mm. Alright, the game's starting to look pretty good for black though. Yep. Let's make sure we get the center. Six. Should be six. Mm -hmm. Take the cushion. 
Into do something with my king, kind of sucks. Well, let's try to trade the bishop there first. Uh, okay, but now my knight can go to c5 potentially. Yeah, potentially. Well, I'm thinking g4, g5 right now. All right, grab. Interesting, uh, knight e4. Not sure about that. Not sure about that. Maybe we can do that there. Queen g5. Looks interesting. Can I just take on h3? Queen g5, the knight e3. Some tactics. Take, take, take. Probably nothing, yeah. Bishop c8, I really don't want to play. Queen g5, 94, queen g6, 95, rook f5, looks good for black, so... Wait, queen g5, 96, right? 96, I'm blundering 96, of course. Um, yeah, I don't want to blunder that. Because, um, but then, you know, this, uh, this is uh, probably very strong uh, compensation for the exchange, though. Very strong, but maybe... I don't know. Uh, is it strong enough? Yeah, that's the question. Go to play g4, bishop g4, rook e7, also f3, bishop h3, rook e2. Maybe not enough. Hmm. Alright, then let's bishop c8 back. There's nothing wrong with admitting that bishops sometimes belong on such um, squares. Okay. Yeah, I, I think I equalized finally, yeah. So that's good. Yeah, but now you long uh, g4. That's the thing. G6, wow. That's a big wow, man. That's a pretty big wow. Uh, rook F6, where the hell is that rook going? Alright. G6. All right, so this should be completely winning, of course, but um, I mean, I just like check, right? Looks pretty good. Um, okay, knight d5. Can't really contain my knight there, so a3. And it's a question of what black wants from this position. Does he want to draw? He wants more. Let's play a5. C6, rook c3. Um, yeah, it was interesting to change sack. Um, Yeah, it, it was an important type of I mean, Mr. Uh, Dillman. It was, I agree. It was a super important tempo. Alright, uh, Black has superior structure. 
what are we gonna do about that? I need to activate my bishop. Back to rookie four, back to the future, right? Okay. Mr. Odebor, you gotta be careful, man. Gotta be slightly more careful. When playing such positions, they can easily get much worse. Easily. All right, so we have a hold of the only open file in this game. That should give us something. Exactly what are we going to get it? So we got this file and and what now? I mean black is better, but uh, for how much he's better. So probably it's a good time to uh, Six, really interesting. Mm. Yeah, let's grab this bishop. It's kind of important bishop. Uh, I gotta take this thing, yeah. Oh, you gave me this pawn on d2. That's that's a uh, big. Big ball for me. Um, all right, knight and f4. Knight and f4 is pretty impressive. Yeah, I agree. Pretty impressive. Uh, mm. Yeah, the probably probably in the position. Yeah. Yeah, the black is much better, but um, it's not so clear now. It's not so clear. Mm. In fact, it's not clear at all. That's a really good point. I don't like my position, I agree. I don't like my position. Check. My opponent offers me a draw. Why does he offer me a draw? 
mean, there is a huge, huge fight there. Okay, some good, good defensive maneuvering. Yeah. Um, Bishop Eric from hell. Yeah. Mr. Arsenal Fenrich. Um, that's okay. I'm almost I'm old, don't worry, man. We know, I know. There will be more simuls, don't worry, guys. Just testing my internet connection here, it's it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. I, I'm, I'm very disappointed in this connection. I'm very, very disappointed in this connection. Anyway, I'm very curious about this move G5, but probably too early, yeah? Because there are like so many sacrifices I can make. Let's prepare the push back one. Ninety-two. I think White is playing perfect moves. Yeah, pretty much. Perfect chess by White. Mm. Perfect chest by white. So we do not definitely don't want to trade the queens. G7. 
six, negative three though. Mm. Yeah, okay, maybe. Maybe. Ah, uh, maybe. Yeah. It's probably a bit too optimistic, yeah. Sure, what white wants. I really want to take on d6. What it wants. What do you want, man? Let's see it. What is it that you want to do, sir? Okay. Bring the bishop back. To where he belongs. Rook b1 makes sense. Okay, f5. Bring the king. Time to look for a draw. Chess. Yeah, we don't want to trade the queens here, obviously, because uh, we need our queen in the attacking mode. Uh, just don't bother like before some point, yeah. All right, nine of five. There we go. There we go. White is trying to attack. Yeah, but uh, I don't know how he will attack, but who knows, yeah. I mean, what is this 94, by the way? 94 is the way. 94, push up by 5, right? Why is white going to play after 94? 96, maybe. Then it should be 6 mate. Yeah, so uh, I don't know. Ah. 94, push up by 5, rook f5, queen f5, knight c5, queen d3, knight d3, rook c4. But even that, even then, should. Oh, wait, 94, queen e4. Well, uh, I'm blind. I'm just blind. Yeah, sorry about that. Obviously, you want to do that. Hmm. That was pretty obvious. And I missed it. And I missed that. Um, I think. All right, let's play rook e6. I mean, left would be Yaski played it against me. It worked for him. Probably it will work for me too. Which is queen seven. Take control of the, all the lines. Okay. Knight is coming to d5, right? In the theater next to you at some point. Trade. Right, and this is the key end game, obviously. That's the key end game. The thing is here you don't rush. You've got to improve your position to the maximum of your ability. Knight h3. Idea of knight g5, I guess. So you don't allow that knight to go to g5. Bishop B3 is probably the plan. Not 100% sure. Mm. Alright, probably it's time to grab this pawn. Okay, fate looks good. Yeah, I really want to put that bishop somewhere nice. 
Well, Quench 6 looks pretty nifty. That looks really nifty, but I would like to play push by 4 first. A3. Push up E6. You can just grab this thing. But if I grab, you do that, and then, 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 then. Okay, I see. King D5 then probably is the best. doesn't do anything. Alright, that's trade. Should be still good for white. That trade should be still good for white. Knight a4. Okay, I don't have compensation, I agree. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, white played very strong series of moves, which ended with me not having any compensation at all. to have queens on board, e5, just can probably grab in this, I mean that gives a uh, huge weakness to
risky. Uh, all right, here's so okay. Thank you. Coin exchange. Alphabet history. Uh, if I still missed to lose. A2 dropping. 25. Special D5 rook F6 now. Uh, yeah, but there is no point. Um, there is no point. Uh, the point is that uh, I need I need to develop some initiative. I don't see the point behind the D6 though, no, um, because I don't see anything. Yeah, so it's not that I don't see anything. It's it's, it's a good saying, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, well, okay, maybe that's true also. Yeah, maybe I don't see anything also. <laughs> okay, but um, yeah, but three pawns versus bishop is a little bit too much, man. It's a little bit too much. Ah, okay, so that's no, this is important. Um, it's not actually important. It's not actually important. No, that was brilliant play by you, man. A very brilliant play. Yeah, my knight on my knight is um, is is caught in the web. Mm. Nice, very nice play. Okay. I see. So my threat was a mirage. There was no threat. Alright, this position is uh, very interesting. I think black has some serious chances here. For what is a good question? For the chances go for. Yes, I can gladiate, yeah? Let me check my stock. Um. Yes. Uh, we have some balls in the channel, I think.
Okay, you need five. You must have Okay, my Rukuna is 6, looks pretty ter terrible. Terrible Ruk, maybe. Fix that structure. You guys know how I love the structure play. Mm -hmm. So, how do I get to this pawn on uh, e4? Somehow I forgot about that. Прям живой, очень живой. Ну хорошо. Я очень рад, что я живой. Okay, we grab the file. Very interesting. Mm. Okay, let's grab this. And rook e, and that was my plan. That was my plan. My opponent offers me a draw. Because it looks very drawish, yeah. Um, Bundesliga, she bank still problem. No, you say, Glyson. London, Milanesh Korzel. You say, Glyson. All right, so let's let's see the statement by Mr. Blunder Dragon that it's a draw. Probably he is correct. <clears throat> because bishop is stronger. As the rules such and games, yeah. We know that. Okay. However, for the educational purposes, for the educational purposes, uh, you probably should play this out a little bit to see how things can go. We're not playing for the result in our um, events. Okay. We're playing to find the truth. And justice in an American way. 
All right, so having said all that, let's, let's play on. All right, I'm gonna grab the spawn. And we're gonna play C5 here. And if I play C5, you know it goes to D5. Yeah, that's the point. That is exactly the point you're trying to make. I understand. So, how should black respond to this move? Knight e2. Probably just play rook d8, yeah? Work for the initiative. So, that is if I grab, grab, you play knight h4, and uh, stuff happens there somewhere. Along the way, I guess. Ah, knight h6, knight f7, I see. Queen g6, yeah. That's your plan. That is White's plan. Mm -hmm. So, if I just um, play bishop c5, knight h6 check, king g7, knight f6. Rook f6, rook f6, knight f6, and take. And there's some kind of rook f1 coming. But that's, I don't, I don't see it. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's the move. Okay. How do I get to put a pawn on b4? That is the important question. How do I get to that pawn? Should I get to that pawn? It's another question altogether. Hmm. Yeah, because knight f4 I think is coming. I kind of like to play king g7 here. Yeah. Right, and now the idea was to attack the knight on d4, which is basically making whole game for white. And how do I do that? So if I play queen d3, then queen d6, obviously. So I'm thinking bishop g7 here. Mm, but then knight b5, yeah? Then maybe try something with my bishop there. My bishop on a6 sucks. Queen f6 looks also interesting, but then rook d2. I should probably try to look for a draw somewhere, yeah? But not so easy. I mean, the bishop g7, knight b5, knight d6. Very tricky. Tricky, sneaky. Tricky and sneaky. Yeah, bad combination. All right, so let's attack this um, knight with the queen. Okay. Okay, five looks good, but then bishop d6. I don't know, maybe bishop d4. I'm thinking bishop c5 also. Yeah, why not? And I kind of like my bishop on d4, to be honest. So, maybe just knight c5. Just trade this guy. Alright, we don't trade this bishop. The bishop is bad. Hmm. A5 looks good. Look at one, look at one. Um, right. King is 
screen. So I play knight h5 now. Or should I just go king e6 or d4 actually? Yeah, d4 looks pretty good. Trying to go for the structure. Yeah, let's play structurally, d4. And here I wanted to play um, just queen d7 maybe. Get the line. If I play queen c6, something like knight b8 maybe. So that's your plan. All right, so this should be winning for white strategically because uh, that bishop is really bad. Mr. Lewis, успокойтесь, пожалуйста. Я понимаю, что вам хочется посоветовать, но... Я все-таки сам решил, хорошо? Okay, there's interesting idea to play uh, queen c6 here. Sorry, but you don't get the shit. Queen d6. Very interesting. Rook f3. Alright, rook f8 probably, yeah. And what is this uh, position? What is this position, ladies and gentlemen? Okay, I should have played queen f7 immediately, yeah? Yeah, probably. So the idea here is after I take this thing, ah, rook g2, I'm blundering rook g2 check. Then my king is in the mating zone, yeah? Oh, shit. Good, good job, man. Good job on seeing that. And rook d3 is also the threat. Yes, I thought it was 
easily winning, but maybe it's not so easily winning again. All right, let's see it. Hmm. Okay, four and a half to play. So this should be winning. Um, everybody can smell it. That this is winning, but how? I really need to trade this bishop obviously. Now we need to get our queen to h6 somehow. So probably knight g2. b5 looks good. Mm. Yes, that b4 move was very good man. I congratulate you on finding that move. Very strong. Knight f4, that's right, yeah. Okay, knight c2, man. Come on. Give me the name of your advisor who gave you to tell you, who told you to play this move. course very strong um band for what book on the hippo to write a book on a hippo very interesting idea guys very interesting to write a book on a hippo Uh, okay, what, what is, is this position? position? Yeah, the 26 kind of sucks. I'm going to go ahead and look C8. Probably there, there is some kind of um, rebuttal to that. Going to B7, look C6. Can you take on H3 actually? Can I? I don't see how I lose some. I see a potential there. Sorry, let's see C8. B4. Or bishop d4, knight b4. And now we are talking. Ah, queen a2 is queen d7 check. Uh, that is so tricky, man. That is incredibly tricky. Uh, queen e8. Wow, what a move. 
What a move, man. Mission D6 is coming sometime, yeah. So mission F1, not to be played. Knight D5, the threat of rook A7, which I completely missed, unfortunately. So King D8 probably has to be played. Queen D2. People are looking for mates, yeah? People are looking for mates. Look at this incredible display of an attack. That's one freaking monster. Alright, so let's calculate this thing. Just a bunch of checks. Okay, so rook f8 was probably bad, yeah. I should have played rook a8 with the idea of rook a1. Yeah, but okay, this should be defensible. This should be a defensible position. Because I have very strong blockade. And again, maybe that's not enough. Actual paper should be five and c six because my bishop is so far away. Can you? Can you really do that? Well, let's see. I, I don't know. Otherwise, you just give me checks. Yeah. So queen f seven. I don't know. So we'll we'll check it out. Should be winning, I think. Should be winning. Take on b5 and play c6, yeah. So if I play queen f7 instead. potential mating threat somewhere along the way. Oof. 
So now we're not gonna give you the pawn. Oh my god, queen f7. Okay, that's good, that's good. That, that is a computer bullshit. Okay, check, queen e8. Alright, you win. Mr. Small Town, you play... When, if you play like this, then you should be playing... Um, you know, with the top players, man. Because you, you, you can kill them. Alright, congrats. Okay. Dina Bianca reading me was a party of 21. Thank you very much, Dina. I appreciate it. Dina, we are French people now. So, um, as a French to a French. Bonjour, bonsoir, and and everything else, right? Leon Beast is MFL? No, it's a different guy. You're welcome. Mm. All right, they should be made somewhere, but I don't see it. But I know it's there. Just I don't see it. Probably queen h6. This was a good move. I like this move. Check. Mm. Okay. Ooh, trick. Tricks are in the building. Tricks are in the building. Very nice. Andromeda, nice spotting. Nice spotting. Yeah, bishop g5, knight d5, yeah. Yeah, okay, I have to make, have to start looking for a draw then, I agree. Gotta, gotta, gotta look for a draw now. Um, knight g5, rook f5. Probably yes, so that means I have to play bishop b8, be very passive. F6, grab. Queen 6 with the idea of bishop takes h5. Wow, super strong play by my opponents. Super strong play. Okay. King g8, and black is preparing the mating net. Would be king h6, g5, h6, knight g6, obviously. I understand. I understand. I know this is a technical win, but where is it? Where is this technical win? Where are you? 
Where is this wind? Alright, let's just grab this knight, yeah. That's how you make a draw, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. So let's force him to grab my knight. G f5, e f5, rook f6. Looks pretty good for white, for black. What seems to be the problem? I don't see a problem. So I'm gonna grab it. Yeah, I don't see a problem. Probably I'm missing something, but I don't see it. Knight g3, I have to play him. Rook a7, another fantastic move. Another fantastic move. b5, rook a6, okay. La fantastique. Andromeda, you're on fire, man. You missed the win in my game. Um, dude, all right, maybe, maybe I did. Uh, I don't know, man, we'll see. We will see, right? I don't mind, guys. You, you can you can do whatever you want in your games. Uh, it's just, you know, we're having fun, right? And uh, trying to figure out... Practicing. Position was even at the end. Uh, the, oh, the end game? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I don't think I was winning anywhere, to be honest. I don't think I was winning anywhere. All right, but Andromeda is actually putting pressure on me. Hmm. Rook a7, I didn't see that. Very good move. Uh, what do I have to do? And then you play this. Yeah, but then you want a tempo. Yeah, it's not clear. Yeah, I don't like uh, b5, rook a6, uh, king b7, cp5, bishop b3 because rook d6. Probably still a draw, but I don't just don't like that line. All right, so I'm just gonna pl play rook d7. Knight f5, my god, that I missed. Okay, I have to admit, I missed this knight f5. Um, check. All right, check. All right, finally, you must give me a bishop, sir. All right, this is this is crazy position. Yeah, but this should be winning. I mean, completely. This should be completely winning. What happens? What did they do? Hey, what happens? I didn't press anything. What, what's going on? Right, okay, so g5 is the threat. Means I have to play rook f6. Let's see, four. Do you guys see that? It moved by itself. I don't know what happened there. It just moved by itself. Okay, now I'm gonna play with d8. 
I'm trying to take over the D file. Because my pieces are all more active than white's pieces, right? So I, I think that should be something for black. Uh, I mean, for white here. I think I can play rook e6 here. Ah, then g5, but king h5. Yeah, king h5 then. Oh, knight d3. Uh, what is that? Christ. What is that? Ah, knight e3, knight h2, and then g5. Yeah, but you're going to play g5 anyway, right? So. You're going to play g5 anyway. All right, so I gotta play rook e6. I have to go for this line. I have no choice. Now, this is uh, where things are getting interesting, right? Knight b1 check. Um, all right, let's win a tempo. I don't want to remain, right? King c6, bishop d3. All right. I guess white is preparing rook e1. Queen d4, rook f4. Hmm. Sneaky. It's a very sneaky plan. Just trying to get my queen, yeah. Hmm. Wow, okay. Does it work? That's the question. Just might well damn well work. All right, so I have, that means I have to play bishop c6 and go for this position. All right, so d2 check looks good. Can I just queen here somewhere? If I take on a5, but, but but d2 should be good enough, yeah? Because he cannot take on d1 because of knight b3. So this is winning. Rook c8. Right, I don't have um, that. So uh, rook h7, king h7, queen h6, probably not good enough. Hmm. Yeah, but I can play knight d3 always, yeah? So I'm not scared, really. I'm not scared, man. But queen f6 first. Uh, of six probably first and king f3 denying you king entry um, grab I think uh, Mr. Leon Beastie could have played some way better the attack. Um, saludos, Ivan Colombo de Argentina. All right, Mr. Ivan Colombo, saludos. Of course. I understand. Wait, wait, no, no free move. Otherwise, you're gonna play bishop c1 and then I'm gonna lose my pawn, yeah? And I'm gonna offer you draw, man, because it's, it looks like a dead draw. All right, good job. Queen. King f4 looks good. Wrap. This is winning, of course. This is the win. Yeah, because uh, I have e pawn. It allows me to win the game. There are two, two ways, ways to win this, this right? Uh, put the push pawn g4, just run the king to c6. The other way is to play king g5 and just take on g6. 
they're both winning easily. Make sure we click that rook. Um, grab. This is the draw. We make the draw because we grab the one of the pawns. We do grab one of the pawns. Um, grab. But now two rooks are better than the queen, so um, this is actually advantage to black. So Mr. Leon, this you will have to be careful now, because my rooks are monsters. Right. My rooks are monsters. Incorporated or not, they are monsters. Um, Can you be added to the Pawn Grabbers Club, Mr. Briggs Keith? Uh, what is your nickname, sir? Alright, I see you. Okay. Right, you read it. That's it. Session D3. Queen F4. Mm -hmm. Looks good. Um, hmm. Probably shouldn't just give you pawns like that, but um, but it's kind of tempting to give you pawn. So, all right, so b6 looks okay. Then f6, knight f6, queen g5. Uh, tricky. 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 Rook f6, queen g5. Mm. Queen g3 and queen g5, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't want to open the bishop, that's true. All right, it's fine, I'll just play b6 and not give that pawn. All right, King C1. But now White is completely, um, completely passive. Completely passive. Um, right, Rook 7 King of 6. Um, what is that? I don't know. I kind of want to keep my Rook uh, kind of um, active because Rook 7 you Rook C4, etc., etc. Right. So king e5 looks more. Then you bring your knight. You bring your knight. I have an idea, actually. Can I play just rook e2 and go after your knight instead? That looks interesting. I mean, this should be a draw, obviously, but it's not that obvious. It's not that obvious. Because if you manage to centralize your knight, then um, you might be okay. Alright, I think b5 should be played, to be honest. Okay, this looks good. Um, Rook of eight looks good also. And then you're probably gonna play bishop d5 at some point, and what I'm gonna do is my rook on f6. So rook e8 then. Yeah, I need um, I need my knight on f6. Eventually.
Yeah, because of Knight on H2, this should be a draw. I enjoy that that was a fun game, yes. Um, not bad. Kurt Cobain? Okay. Alright, you read it. Now I can play knight of six. And keep that bishop out. Finally. And b5 was very interesting, yeah? b5, but okay. Oh, you want to play this end game? Fine. Let's play this end game. Mr. Aruru, this is a long ass end game which is less dangerous than Rook and Bishop versus Rook. Rook and Bishop is justified in playing Rook and Knight. There have been some instances like in the recent Women's World Chess Championship, right, where somebody lost with Rook versus Rook and Knight and got made it. Yeah, there was this case, this curious case. Okay. Okay, so basically world checks, right? G5, I guess, some point might be dangerous. Dangerous. I think white is uh, tactically not very sound here. Okay. Should I try just to go after this guy? Seems like that's right around. So you want to get your knight? Probably I'm not gonna find just in case for something. Okay, check. You're invisible. Cool. Thank you, Andromeda, for the cheer. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah, those, those Berlin structures, I mean, uh, 
Very fun, yeah. One can easily get lost there. Might take a while. Might take a while. Alright, grab. More grabbing is coming. Pushing. Extra stuff, right? Um, just King 7. Nothing fancy. Push, push. Agreed. Okay. Bishop d5. Yes, that's that's the move, man. All right. That is possibly the move. Uh, So what is this situation here? This should be completely winning for black. Obviously, but there's some technical difficulties, yes. I mean, I needed my rook um, Yeah, but okay, it's not draw, man. Come on, you know that, right? It's not draw. Should be winning. Should be winning for black, but uh, the question is how, yeah? How is it winning? How do I win this? Well, I'll, I'll be honest. B5 looks pretty damn good for the start. Uh, but then you have bishop f7, maybe, yeah? Is that your plan? I don't know, it doesn't look right. All right, so let's try that. Uh, H3 looks good. One grab in action, correct. I mean, doesn't everybody love to grab stuff? If you can grab free stuff and get away with it. It's a green wall for green screen purposes in the future. No, it's not my green wall. It's actually yellow, but uh, for some reason it shows up as green. So I, I, I don't know why it does that, but it is actually yellow. It's not green. What? Gray? Yeah, my wife thinks it's gray, but I think it's yellow. <laughs> All right, so um, so a lot of interesting things are here that can be played. Very interesting things. Uh, the question is. Um, I get a feeling this is win. I got, I got this feeling this is a win. It's not an easy win, but it is a win. But I might be wrong, yeah. Hmm.
Alright, let's see it. Check. Yeah, but MML is, yes, um, then I graph this, yeah. So what is this position? What is this position? One more game to go, yes. Okay, Anish, not bad. Not bad. But um, too passive in the end game, yeah? Too passive. So I'm going to switch to this game now. So I'm curious what Mr. Leon Beast is thinking about because. Um, yeah, I think I actually misplayed this, yeah? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I think I did. So probably I need to look for a draw now. I probably need to look for a draw. It's always a little bit disappointing to look for a draw in a position where I was much better. That's, that's life, gentlemen. That is life. I mean, the draw is not that hard, to be honest. It's not that difficult. I mean, how many moves I can make here? There's only one move, right? I, I don't see why, why he's taking his time to play it, but let's respect that. Hmm. Yeah, King E2 is the only reasonable move that I can think of. Okay. Yeah, for some reason, I didn't register, um, Queen G6, uh, Queen G7, I thought it was on it, so. Yeah, okay, so probably I need to take this, yeah. I need to take this, and then grab that, and grab this. And this, that it can look like a complete draw. And the question is, can who is playing for a win here? Kind of, kind of difficult question to answer. 
I think uh, I think white is very safe because uh, I don't think white can lose this at all. This queen is too powerful, yeah. Okay, today is what uh, Saturday or Sunday? What? Saturday, yeah. Yeah, there is a big, huge club going on here in France. So, yeah, queen three. I mean, I've just seen the fork, yes. Um, yeah, here's my undivided attention. Unfortunately, I'm a bit late, yeah? With that attention. Uh, but I don't understand this queen needs to move, to be honest. You allow me to grab the spawn, bring my king. You should play queen h6 back. Yeah, queen h6 back. You force my knight back to f6. And then queen e3 back and it's a draw. But if you leave my knight on e4 and then I play c3, yeah, then uh, I think it's very dangerous for white. Queen e2, I don't like it at all, man. I think queen h6 was forced because the threat is queen e6 and queen h5. You force my knight back to f6 and then queen e3 back. I think that was the uh, most uh, sensible draw to me. I mean, you can also play queen d2 even, right? You just need to enter with your queen, infiltrate with your queen. If you infiltrate with your queen, then you're fine. That's that's the thing. If I cannot stop your queen infiltrating, then it's the thing. And I have probably have to keep my head on a 6. But after queen e2, king of 6, I grab your pawn on a 5. You give me this very important pawn on f5. If I grab this pawn on f5, I think black has uh, now a very serious chances to win this game. Yeah. Um, dead knight, dead rook, dead bishop. Yeah. Sunday, Saturday. Okay. For some, for some people, it's Saturday. For some people, it's Sunday. Yeah. Um, just grab this. Yeah. So white's now only chances the active queen to do something with it. Yeah. That is white's main chance. Uh, so probably rook g3 check. I mean, rook h4 is probably, yeah, you're probably going to give me diagonal checks, yeah. So rook g3 check, kick this king back, back to the future. And probably I need to push my pawn, yeah. And c3 has to be played. Alright, so centralized knight, rook, and uh, very dangerous pawn on c3. This is what makes black position preferable. Whether it is enough, nobody knows. I suspect it's probably not enough, but um, some people might disagree. Some grandmasters might be inclined to think that um, black chances to win are higher than white chances to draw. Who knows? Certainly, I, I, I don't know. <gasps> I mean, it does look kind of dangerous for white a little bit, a little bit yeah. A little, just a tiny bit, a little bit. Just a tiny bit dangerous. It's like tiny, tiny in the Dota, yeah? He becomes really huge later on. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so this is the dilemma. Yeah, C2 or not C2, yeah? C2 or not C2?
I have an interesting idea here actually to go for rook g2 check instead and go for this position. This looks extremely interesting. I mean c2 was very interesting as well, but uh, the idea here is to play rook d2 check followed by you guys know what I want, yeah? You guys probably know what I want to do. I want to play knight f2 here. That's what I want to do. You guys know how I love studies, right? I love studies, right? And uh, with, if, if I can get the knight to d3, white will be in serious trouble. He will be in a serious trouble here. So the question is, can I do that or I'm going to get uh, perpetualed here? I suspect I will get perpetualed, yeah. Because I don't think I can run away from all those checks. Yeah, probably not, yeah. Hmm. It's kind of fun to, fun, to, fun to see this line. Uh, Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There, there should be a huge chance for a perpetual check, and also if white can get the pawn on c3, right? For example, king g4, queen c4 check, just draw uh, immediately. King g3, queen g7 check is just a draw. So uh, same thing for king e5. So I have to be very careful with where I put my king now. I think it doesn't matter because, um, yeah, if my knight was on e5 instead of f2, then probably, um, yeah, but then white can just pin him, right? So, okay, so probably the rook g2, rook g2 was a mistake. I should have played c2 instead because white king is cut off, right? If I played c2, white king is cut off and uh, then probably white has more chances. Yeah, I think that would be right. That would, that would have been a better move. At least pose more problems. This way it's just a draw. Yeah, this this looks like just a draw. Yeah, queen six, correct. And then uh, king cannot go back to the f line, so I have to stay here. And I like how black pieces all protect each other, but. Uh, that's about the extent of it, yeah? I mean, I can never get that knight to d3. Unfortunately, I can't get that knight there. I mean, he had to play queen a6, really, but okay. Just for the love's sake, I guess. Uh, King is six, queen d3, okay. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. All right. It's a draw. It is, it is. It is what it is. Can't do anything. Yeah, but, you know, White still took a significant risk when he played the uh, queen e2, I think. It was quite a significant risk. All right. Good job. All right, everybody. So, uh, the sign will seem to be working okay. Yeah. So hopefully, uh, I'm not sure if uh, we're going to be able to do something on Monday. I will try. Um, Andromeda, sure. All right, let's take a look at your game, man. Okay. All right, so admittedly here, 94 looks okay. I think h6 is normal. C3, I, I don't like C3 move. 
Usually you don't want to play c3. If you want to play something like this, you should play b3, c4, c4 immediately. I mean, the pawn on c4 stands really well, right? You get in that d5 square. Uh, in general, this position, but you see it's like the evaluation starts to slowly creep in for, for uh, yeah. So that's why, um, that's why usually white plays here rook d1 check, prevents bishop d7, or he plays h3 and prepares g4. Yeah, knight c3 they uh, play, but after bishop d7, white now has to be very precise here. I don't know all the lines, but um, yeah, bishop d7 is very, very fighting move for black. Yeah, because after c3, um, I like this position for black. Um, yeah, now the pair of bishops is very, very dangerous, actually. Bishop c2 is a classical way of playing this position, but I think bishop e6 is fine. a5, c4. See, you had to play c4 anyway, right? So bishop b2, and uh, this position looks... Um, Looks very shaky for white, to be honest. The bishop c8 is okay. King f1, c5. Ah, okay, so I should have played c5 immediately, yeah? And then bishop f5. So you see what the computer is saying, right? c5, and then bishop f5, and then the threat is to go after c2. Because black is not afraid uh, to lose the a4 pawn, because the c4 pawn will be weak. But now there is a threat of bishop c2, and... Um, yeah, it doesn't look that good for white, so maybe take, take, king d2, but then even here, bishop check first, because you cannot go here because of bishop c2, right? And then there is rook d3, a3 maybe, ah, sorry, a b3, right? Yeah, this, this doesn't look good. Yeah, so this is why Berlin is very dangerous, because uh, black, if you allow black bishop potentially to, go, to come after these pawns, white is in a huge uh, mess. Here, uh, you managed to trick me with a nice move. In here, bishop g5. Even here, black is slightly better. But I, I, I think this is wrong. I think this is actually equal. So this is equal, okay. Uh, this is already probably nothing. After knight c7, just completely draw. I didn't see rook d3, but uh, I thought, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, white has to be really careful in these positions. Very, very careful. It's very easy to get into worse situations here. That's why uh, that's why everybody plays brilliant with black. See? It's minus one, yeah? that That's like... Uh, you have a lot of weaknesses. You have weakness here, weakness here, bad bishop. Well, not really any plans to improve the position. The only, the only plan for white to improve is by playing f4, g4, f5, and start pushing this pawn majority, right? That's the reason why white is considered to be better, because of this pawn majority structure. But in reality, this bishop is so strong, you'll never get that f5. And uh, if you cannot get f5, then you have to look out, always out for c5, for rook d3, for bishop getting to these uh, queenside pawns. Uh, yeah, that that's... Uh, yeah, so... Uh, Check this out, all right? Check this out, uh, how to play after bishop d7. There should be quite a few games here. Uh, I would say hundreds of games. Uh, so check, uh, I think white plays rook d1, and then king c8, and then something like knight g5, maybe even, I'm not sure. All right, just check this out. There's a lot of games played. There's huge theory in this. And um, yeah. But guys, I, 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 I cannot stay, all right? I, I just tried this uh, simul, but I'm, I'm feeling very tired, so uh, I'm going to take off, all right? And uh, I'm very happy to see you, everybody here. And we're definitely going to run more events, okay? I promise. Uh, all right? So uh, look for some messages. I will keep you guys posted. And uh, if, if there will be a renit on Monday, then we'll be playing King's uh, Attack, right? The one that I had against Kush um, and in the Bundesliga. Because that, that is a very important one. Thank you, Andromeda. Alright, so if... Uh, you know, just look at some King's, uh, Kings Indian attacks, okay? Those, those are important because um, those are important from the black point of view. Those are important from the white point of view. Okay? Um, no, that, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Usually I, I, I analyze. But just today I, I, I'm very tired. Alright? All right, so on Monday, probably around the same time, uh, we, I'm going to try to do the arena, okay? Hopefully. All right, so thank you. Let's go raid somebody. 
uh, who we're gonna raid. Um, I don't know, let's raid somebody. Let's uh, find who we can raid. Oh, we haven't raided, um, we haven't raided Chiyu in a long time. So we should probably raid Chiyu, all right? Um, yeah, for some reason my sounds, I cannot hear what she's saying at all. What's going on? Why I can't hear? All right, but we're gonna raid, raid anyway. Um, all right. Ah, I forgot to do this, yeah. All right, and we are starting the raid in seven, six, five, four. So, and we, yeah, I'm sure you can hear it, but um, there's something wrong with my sound the system. I cannot hear anything. Okay, and there we go. Boom. Okay. Hi, everybody. My sound doesn't work, so uh, I'm just gonna leave you guys here. Okay. Oh, she is the, she she is doing the uh, the stream battle. All right, good. Okay. Okay. 